Hey everyone, Andy here with 509 Street. Today I want to take some time to tell you about our all new Mach V Commander. Mach V Commander utilizes the same chassis or shell as our Mach V that's currently on the market. Where the Commander comes from is the loads of tech we've packed into this helmet. Um, starting with the name Commander, um, that actually comes from the partnership that we have with Cardo Communication Systems. Cardo Communications is the leader in, the global leader in power sports communications systems. Um, we chose to par partner with them for their patented DMC mesh technology. So, few and some other riders um, have this helmet or other communications device. You can pair up to yourself and 14 other riders um, for a maximum of 14, 15 miles, daisy chaining yourselves together and um, seamlessly communicating throughout the day for eight, eight to 10 hours of riding. That is the main goal of this helmet. We wanted to just utilize that communications aspect for um, just to increase the safety of our riders. Um, aside from just communicating with the other riders, you can pair to your phone, listen to music, make or accept calls, a um, variety of little options with the Cardo uh, communications we've built into this helmet. Gone are the days of slapping a aftermarket communication system, gluing it, bolting it onto the side of your helmet. This is seamlessly integrated into the shell itself. We partnered directly with Cardo to design, develop, and build this thing directly into the helmet. So there is a wiring harness built throughout this, this helmet, from the controls to the antenna built on the top to the spoiler housing in the rear. Um, this thing is fully integrated. I'll tell you a little more about the controls. We have two options. We have a right hand and our left hand. Right hand is what we call our prime control. These are the actions you take before you say, before you get on your machine, your motorcycle, you power on, you compare to your phone, you compare to other riders. Uh, some of those actions you don't want to do while you're riding. That's why we have that on the throttle hand. The left side, our active control, are some of the actions you take while you are riding. Controlling the volume, uh, adjusting music, um, make, again, making or accepting a call. Some of those actions that you want to do, you know, during, during the ride. Um, again, these are built seamlessly in, so we don't have a communications device just sticking out on the side, creating wind noise. Again, these are built into the aerodynamic shape of the shell. In addition to the physical controls, if you wish to go hands-free on the road, the Mach V Commander also comes with a variety of voice commands, which can be found in your owner's manual. More on that aerodynamic shape is this spoiler housing I told you about. This is essentially where the brains of the operation live. In this spoiler, we have our 900 milliamp battery that again, you can ride for eight to 10 hours, um, or eight to 10 hours of riding a day, but also the, again, the brains, the chip live in this spoiler and are wired throughout the helmet to, again, the, the controls. We have our speakers built inside. We have a microphone built into the chin bar. These are all replaceable if you run into an issue or, or have you know, some sort of defect. Um, we can supply those to you. The spoiler also has a USB-C charging port, so you can plug this in, in your house, in your garage, uh, before or after the ride. So you can see that power cord is uh, provided with this helmet as well. Um, again, we have the antenna on top. That provides the, the best, best range for uh, connecting to these uh, different riders that we have. Um, I mentioned our speakers are built inside. Not only are the speakers built into this EPS, but we, are, we built it into our 509 PSI system. PSI is passive sound isolation. So we have these speakers built into an earmuff. Um, you know, you look at just noise canceling earmuffs, very similar shape and, and form there. But we have these built with an air bladder behind them. So you put the helmet on and you can pump up this system and actually create a better seal around your ears with these, with these earmuffs, creating just some of that passive uh, sound isolation, canceling out some of the environmental noise, some of the just motorcycle noise, things like that. Once you want to take the helmet off, you can just press the release button, those air bladders deflate, and elastomer springs pull those back into the helmet, you can take the helmet off. Another system we built into this that we're very proud of is our 509 patent pending Venturi system. This actually works by not forcing cold air at the user's face, but actually sucking the sweaty, the moist air actually out of the, out of the helmet. So not just cooling you down, but keeping you dry, keeping you comfortable for a long day of riding. In addition to the Venturi system, we also have a forehead controllable on and off uh, shutter system as well. Um, back to the spoiler, we have again the Cardo brains living in here, but we also have controlled by the prime control, 
a chase light. This is customizable by the user, can be app controlled. You can turn this off if you have a passenger, if you have someone that rides close behind you, you can turn that off in an instant. Just another safety feature we wanted to add, turn it back on just like that. Double click of the button. Um, again, the, the button that controls that is customizable by the 5 and 9 app. So if you have you know, different lights, different comms devices that we have, um, that can be customizable on the 5 and 9 app to come. Another small thing that we include in a lot of our helmets is the Fidlock magnetic chin strap, just for easy, quick on and off. We have a chin curtain that comes supplied out of the factory. This is breathable, so it doesn't make it feel stuffy. We have a breath deflector built inside. That is attached to our uh, shield that has a maximum field of view. This helmet is DOT and EC2206 certified. So this is literally the maximum field of view you can get from a shield that is certified with DOT and EC2206. That about wraps it up for the Mach-B Commander. Check it out at ride509.com street or your local dealer.